Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is heat waves. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. India is experiencing early heat waves in March 2025 with regions like Delhi, Karnataka, Goa and Jharkhand under heat wave alerts. Now let's discuss about what is a heat wave. Heat waves are a period of unusually high temperatures as compared to what is normally expected over a region. Therefore the temperatures at which heat waves are declared differ from place to place based on the temperature climatology historical temperatures of that region. The IMD considers declaration of a heat wave in a region when the maximum temperature crosses 40 degrees Celsius in the plains, 37 degrees Celsius in the coastal areas and 30 degrees Celsius in the hills. The impact of heat waves gets aggravated by supportive meteorological factors such as high humidity, high wind speed, duration of heat wave events. Favorable conditions for heat wave are prevalence of hot dry air over a region, absence of moisture in the upper atmosphere, the sky should be practically cloudless, large amplitude anticyclonic flow over the area. Now let's talk about causes of early heat waves. The key weather phenomenon causing early heat waves is an anticyclone over the Arabian Sea. This anticyclone pulls winds from the north northwest into the coastal regions leading to early heat waves. The lower level heat amplified by warming in the Middle East and the northern Arabian Sea contributes to the heat waves. The early heat surge is also attributed to climate change, shifting weather patterns and urbanization. An exceptionally dry winter and weak La Nina have disrupted the weather, contributing to above normal heat. Now let's discuss about health impacts of heat waves. The health impacts of heat waves typically involve dehydration, heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and or heat stroke. The signs and symptoms are as follows: heat cramps, edema, swelling, and syncope, fainting, generally accompanied by fever below 39 degrees Celsius, heat exhaustion, fatigue, weakness, dizziness, headache, nausea, vomiting, muscle cramps and sweating heat stroke body temperatures of 40 degrees celsius or more along with delirium seizures or coma this is a potentially fatal condition experts stress the need for stronger heat action plans and improved local capacity to handle heat waves now lastly moving on to what are heat action plans hap the heat action plans help in building up the resilience of indians particularly those vulnerable to severe heat waves heat action plans provide the framework for planning and implementing early warning systems preparedness strategies that address public awareness and community outreach mechanisms for interagency coordination roles and responsibilities during heat wave response capacity building among healthcare professionals mitigating heat exposure and promoting adaptive measures among the vulnerable population in the concerned region now is the time for practice question consider the following statements about heat wave 1 a heat wave occurs in coastal regions when the maximum temperature exceeds 37 degrees celsius 2 high moisture in the upper atmosphere and a cloudy sky helps intensify heat wave conditions which of the statements given above is or are correct a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications